Hi everyone. Uh, this is my last day in Key West and the last two days uh, my daughter and I have froze. She doesn't have any heat source and um, so we had to wear a lot of pants, a lot of shirts, a lot of socks. So and then I got very congested this morning and had to take some pills and uh so I had a low grade headache. Now I gotta get on a plane tomorrow and uh hopefully I can make it. And I we went out to dinner at the hogfish one more time. We got the mixed grill um which was okay. I of course I never eat at all. My daughter gets mad. But I just leave her food. It, it's her leftovers will be her food for the week, probably. So, uh, my son called me. I am so grateful. He talked to me for over two and a half hours. That made me very happy. Yes. And uh, uh, there's no more I want to say about that, but. And, and he even talked to his sister, which was a blessing, wonderful. So Lolo is doing good. If you don't know, remember who Lolo is. Lolo is a hamster. Your grandson. Yeah. And I'm putting my hair up. I took my shower so I can just get right on the plane. They had asked me if I wanted to take a voucher. And they said, uh, if you want to, um, you know, give up your seat, we can give you a voucher. But their voucher was only worth a zero. So I didn't pick that. Because I know they did this last time. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going back to cold weather. And I know when it got cold here for the last two days, my body started hurting. It sure did. And um, my feelings about Key West is it's a wonderful town to walk around in or ride a bicycle. It's got really good food the beach I wouldn't even bother putting on a bathing suit and going to the beach because it's not the kind of beach that I like I like the kind of beach where the sand is soft and you go right into the water with no rocks well Key West beaches are not like that <clears throat> so you come here for the drinking the bars the atmosphere the drag bars uh, the animals are wonderful. The food is great. And don't be afraid to go into Stock Island to check some restaurants out because there are some really good ones too there. And I've, I've done videos about most of them. And I, the biggest surprise is Wahlberg's restaurant. And the other, the most fun I had here was on my scooter. And I hope my daughter takes good care of it. Uh, can't, I can't take it back. It's just too much for me to think about right now. I got a lot on me at the moment. Um, I still haven't seen my granddaughter in probably maybe a year. So I need to go see her. Uh, yeah, I tried to pay my personal property taxes today in the town where I used to live in. They don't never answer their phone. So what the hell are you supposed to do? I tell you what, if I was running that town, I'd light a fire under every one of those girls' asses to get them to answer the phone. If someone got COVID, I don't know. But their recording didn't reflect that. The recording says, well, if we don't answer, it's because we're taking other people's calls. So I called the six times and none of them answered. So, because I am having to pay personal property taxes in Westmoreland and Colonial Beach. So I called Westmoreland and, and they said, yeah, you owe $51. So I paid it. So I can't renew my vehicle registration because of the town of Colonial Beach. Oh my God. Uh, the sore, that band-aid that I was wearing, my chest is so totally healed. I think it was uh, too much retina A between my breasts and... Um, Maybe the sun was irritating it. So it bubbled up. It looked awful. So I put um, cortisone. Was it cortisone, Monica? Cortisone, yeah. Yeah, it cleared up the first night. So that's good. So um, I have to get back to this Virginia and go through a month and a half of mail. I'm not looking forward to this. And um, 
last night I had like a bad dream and it just messed me up for the whole day. It's, it's from my PTSD. I still have bad dreams. Uh, and I don't know if you all know the story, but I'll tell you. So I can have it documented. When I left my husband, I had, I think I was uh, seven wieners, dachshunds. Uh, I think two of them, maybe, no, only one of them had passed. So they were all at his house and they were my dogs because it originated from my male dog. And then I bought a female dog. So that was the grandparents. And then of course they all had babies. Now I gave him one dog, but his dog drowned in the swimming pool. So um, this is what made me mad last night. Two of, now remember, I would cry to him, begging him for me to have the dogs. He, he wouldn't give them to me. So um, he left his friend uh, babysitting him. And this friend is not reliable. He got drunk. I forgot to lock the dogs up. And two of the baby dachshunds were either ate by coyotes or lost in the woods or someone kidnapped them. I don't know. So that made me so mad in my dream. And there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I could cause problems and throw this up in my ex-husband's face because I warned him about this guy. Uh, you know, because when I asked my husband to choose between me and this person, he chose this person. And this person is just a horrible, horrible drunk. You should never leave a beloved animal with somebody who has an addiction problem. So when I started thinking about that last night, I go, oh my God, I cannot go to sleep. But there's nothing I can do about it. I can't do nothing about it. So... But a good thing happened today. My son did call me and he talked to me and I was able to help him. And so, like I said, when I get back to Dumfries, I got about a month and a half of paperwork to go through. And hopefully the town of Colonial Beach may decide to answer their business phone. Oh, yeah. Well, so I'm going to miss Lolo. You know who Lolo is. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. And don't forget Valentine's Day. Bye.